Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today about the TZ database system. The TZ database system is a uh, way of conveniently referencing time zones. Now, if you've spent the last year trying to organize meetings on Zoom, then uh, you don't need me telling you that there are lots and lots of time zones in the world and time zones are complicated. There is daylight saving time and uh, universal time coordinated, which is not the same thing as GMT exactly and lots and lots of kind of finicky detail that uh, sometimes you do need to know uh, to put those into programs in order that you uh, can know what time it is. So um, I wanted to just uh, show why you might want to assist an instance where you might want to know this and uh, where you can sort of get this data from. Now um, there is a uh, the, the easiest place is there is a good Wikipedia article uh, that is well updated uh, because this is such a sort of um, low level in the computing sense of the word. This is such a low level and essential database for pulling in time zone data to, uh, to different programs and on operating systems. So uh, this is just kind of a quick and dirty reference, if you will, that just gives you um, a chart here listing out um, the different longitude and latitude, the TZ database name, this is basically fine. That's what you need for uh, most programs. Uh, as well as very importantly, the status, and that's divided into, uh, you have some deprecated, uh, deprecated entries here, and you have aliases and canonicals. Uh, UTC offsets given as well. That's the offset um, as an integer, positive or negative, against universal time uh, coordinated, also known as uh, Zulu time. And there's also a, a UTC DST offset uh, for daylight saving times, a daylight daylight saving time. So that's the Wikipedia source, but naturally uh, you might want to sort of dig a little bit uh, further and get data always, always better if you really need it to be robust to get data from the original source and the maintainers of that data. So uh, in order to track down where I could find this, I plugged TZ database into uh, the Google machine and I quickly chanced upon uh, the second entry, second entry here uh, that came up in Google was from IANA. This, this, this is all, this is all kind of oddly fascinating stuff. Like who, who are these people? The International Assigned Numbers Authority. It's fascinating. Um, what's actually more fascinating or most fascinating is the fact that there is like a guy, there is a guy who's like responsible for maintaining the time zone database. I don't know, I find that kind of hilarious. Um, it was founded by, there is another Wikipedia entry called TZ database um, in which you can actually read the history of the database as opposed to just the list. Uh, and it will tell you that Paul, Mr. Paul Eggert is its current editor and maintainer. Like there, there is a guy out there, Paul Eggert, and he's like the world time zone computer guy. A lot of, a lot of weight on his shoulders. Um, so, but get, getting, getting back to this, uh, so you can click into the IANA website and they have the uh, time zone database and it looks like your average uh, tech, uh, something like a, you know, a GitHub site where you can see the latest version and the previous versions and uh, they have them packaged up as um, tar.gz, which anybody, as anyone who uses Linux knows is uh, pretty easy to work with. Um, so that is that. Now, uh, just to show you, uh, bring this down to a more practical level when you need, when you might need to know these time zone entries. So I just uh, installed G World Clock, uh, which is a multiple time zone editing program in Ubuntu. And uh, this is why I always say that when your computer, this is why I love taking backups because when your computer, if your computer ever vanishes, or uh, breaks and you lose two years worth of data. These are all the tiny little things you lose. So um, I, it must be many years since I last used this program because uh, it is it wasn't there. So I just put it on to my new computer and I'm now in the process of setting up something that is vaguely useful. So uh, I'm gonna refer to the Wikipedia chart here um, and just to show you how this works very simply, G World Clocks has a system where you can search your way through countries and regions, but you can also just plug in the TZ value. So um, the TZ value, well, I'm gonna go for Jerusalem as one. And the TZ value for this is Asia. Um, now there's no leading, 
trail, there is a trail after the continent. So Asia forward slash Jerusalem is the current canonical time zone denotation uh, for this time zone. So what I can do is say Jerusalem and I can say Asia Jerusalem and I can go add zone and now I have Jerusalem. Uh, if you want to watch my last video on how to use this uh, notation uh, system, uh, you can also watch that. So, okay, we're, we've, we've got going. Now, Zulu time or uh, GMT is available. Uh, you can also, they also have uh, notations for GMT and for GMT offsets. You can actually add those manually to a program as well. If instead of adding a particular geographical entity, uh, you can actually add any offset, positive or negative. But the one I would always want to add is UTC. And you can see UTC is listed here as the canonical and uh, Zulu's deprecated. So I'm gonna go into my uh, world clock program here again on Ubuntu. And I'm going to just add this and call it UTC. And I'm going to say ETC forward slash UTC in capitals. Now this is pretty easy uh, to work with, but it's a really nice standardized system for referring to time zones. Now, because I am a finicky person and uh, I like to remember that uh, ETC and UTC and GMT are not always equal, um, I'm gonna throw in GMT um, in there as well. So that's ETC forward slash GMT. So I'm gonna put in also GMT at that time zone. And uh, let's, I always put in Cork which is where I'm originally from in the world, but uh, sorry, I mean, it focuses on major cities, so it's gonna be Dublin, and you can see uh, that is uh, Europe Dublin. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna just call it uh, Cork, but I'm gonna, it's, the, it's always, there's no, there's only one time zone in, uh, in Ireland, so it's the same thing effectively, so Europe Dublin. So we have Cork, Dublin, uh, where else would be useful? Um, let me think, where do I currently have people I'm talking to in the world. Well, you know, I'm not gonna do all of these. Um, it'd be interesting to see if they have one for Eastern time, EST as a whole, uh, EST New York uh, with an underscore, so America. So these are quite specific. So I'm just gonna call out of my system EST uh, and I'm gonna go for America forward slash new underscore York. Um, instead of CST, I'm gonna put in, uh, I'm gonna put in Dallas as well. Um, what else is on CST? Central Standard Time. Uh, Central, I just saw it come up there, uh, Chicago. So anyway, this is a really, really big database. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore, uh, make this video super long by going through everything I want to add. What I do want to show is the original data, what that looks like, just in case anyone watching this has become curious. So this is the that uh, tar.gz that I downloaded there from the website of the International Assigned Numbers Authority. I'm so curious about these people. Um, if it, it feels like the Matrix or something. There's all these kind of vague, vague entities and vague people, like Paul Eggert, con controlling all these, uh, all these, all these things about the internet. Um, so uh, yeah, let me just jump back here. So this is the source data uh, coming from the I IANA, the maintainer of this data. And uh, you can see the way it's batched. I've just downloaded this. They have it uh, batched by continent. So let's jump into Europe, uh, which was modified on the 29th of September. Ah, because I just opened on my, on my machine. Um, so I'm just going to, sorry for this, these technical mishaps here. Uh, let us take a look into, I looked at Antarctica because I was curious, but let's look at uh, Europe. Here we go. So this is the real hardcore source data as such, right? So it looks like kind of more like a program file where you're gonna have tons and tons of stuff commented off at the start, talking about the originator of this project, and talking about who's currently maintaining it. But let me show you some of the um, actual um, information. And there, this is actually, it, it's, it's quite, it, this is quite ent entertaining stuff. There's these little kind of historical notes um, added by the maintainers of this document, time zone trivia. There is, uh, this is kind of a combination of a text file and sort of a, look, the Irish statute book, incredible. Anyway, skip through all the comments and you'll get to the actual, um, 
things in this document. You can see, just look at the uncommented lines and you'll see uh, where the data is. There was ones that were more useful. There's 11 mentions of Dublin in this document, but let's jump to the actual uh, Dublin, the actual data entry, because this is just so, so long. Here we go. Uh, so you can see the formats used zone and the official name uh, being Europe uh, forward slash Dublin. Um, and uh, that's basically most of what there is to be found in this document. So just out of curiosity, uh, I find this kind of interesting because it's just so essential to the operation of uh, not just the internet, but operating systems and computing in general. Hope that video was, uh, was interesting. And if you would like to get more videos about everything related to Linux, Ubuntu, time zone, technology, feel free to hit the subscribe button.